spot that I'm at. All the guys that could be my dad, pretty much, surf out there. They always are like, what's your last YouTube video? Because I always talk to them, tell them I skate and stuff. When they find me so normally, I get up, I turn on the surf cameras to see if it's worth getting out of bed. And as long as there's waves, I usually get straight to coffee. And once coffee's done, feed the dog and load up the board. What's up, girl? Don't go for the day. <laughs> the stare down. Put the fin forward because it uh, helps with you know wind channeling with your car. It's like a, it's like a spoiler. <laughs> I might try the highway, and if the the jet sounds a little too nuts, or if the board starts shaking, then we'll take back roads. Blast off! The strap, like this strap, just pulled tight, like. Flapping on the roof. Vibrating. Yeah. This run is really fun at nighttime. Starting like from way up there, it like winds down the neighborhood. Now you can do the spam. Hawaiian Power Bar, <laughs> aka Spam Musubi, aka Life. That's my daily Instagram, the entrance of Kualos. I don't show the waves so people don't know how good it is. And I just show the wall. I used to ride this one a bunch when it's like uh, under head high. When it gets a little bigger, I usually drop to a smaller one. Or if it's like super small, I go to a bigger one. This one's pretty maneuverable for such a big board. This one's a Canon F1. I got this one pretty recently too. I traded it for an old surfboard. I could do lots of surfboard trading. <laughs> I don't like spending money, so I trade boards. Ride it for a little bit. Once you get the hang of it, trade it. Start on the next one. Most of the time it's here at Kualos. I like it out here. It's a nice and mellow crowd and the waves are always fun. Look at that one. What? Usually get in an hour or two. If I work, then I rush straight to work. If not, it's usually on to some food and skateboarding from here. But some days I just stay out there way too long and it takes over the whole day. Hopefully not today. We'll see. Flowers. They're star flowers. They grow on the moon. This one was uh, the 60s. This is actually one of their earlier ones. It's pretty old. I scored it from a grandpa on the Craigslist. Pretty much perfect condition. <laughs> I hope. Sometimes I like to drop by the beach after. Go for a little roll around on the pintail, take a few photos and doodle some doodles. Uh, it's about to be the new Dish Life graphic, you know? Version 2 for the board, the, the new beachfront cruiser. Maybe. <laughs> Headed back to the car. I think Ethan Lyle might be there. He's one of the longtime homies. He actually uh, got me into skating downhill. I surf with him, skate with him all the time. He's a character, a good one. There's no one else out there like him. He's very unique in every single way possible. Everything from shaping his surfboards to his set up skating pools, but he shreds everything all around pretty much, no matter what he's on. And in lots of it, will be on something his own style, which is pretty awesome. I think we're gonna head over, drop off some film, and see what's up from there. Um, I just... Ethan, maybe Yo drop off film first, just to get it there, and then coffee. Next, probably a coffee stop, drop off the board and head over the mountain to my work to grab a few things. 
then drive around the island the scenic way to get to a dish. So we're at my work, 808 Skate in Kailua. It's been here for 21 years. Changing my wheels out, making a quick stop. Got to run and grab a few things in the back and onto a ditch next. Uh, and then a sidewalk. <laughs> I think this end is supposed to be like the front of the rabbit. With, I don't know. That's what they said. Uh, like mighty, mighty thin. I'm thin. <laughs> Ditches are definitely my favorite place to skate. It's a little mix of everything, China, I feel like. Lots of the ditches are a little bit downhill, so you get the downhill and you can do slides. But it's like the waves are always firing. You get just enough curve so you can like gain speed wherever you want. There's a lip you can hit up there lots of the times. And in Hawaii, we got a good mix of ditches. Everything from like legendary wallow style to ones that people have never heard of. And it gives a good mix of uh, smooth, bumpy, all kinds of angles. Keeps it interesting for sure. <laughs> I was just taking random things that are work warehouse yeah. on like my backdrop for sidewalker shots. <laughs> Sometimes at night I like to sneak out and come up my home hill. You get a few night runs. There's lots of sick driveways and it's uh, nice and empty at nighttime, so it's nice and safe. It's always good to get a bonus run. Better know 